before I joined Youth Build, I was working. And I had to work because my mom was a single mom of six kids. So it was either school or work. So I started working and I was coming to an age where I was going to be 18. So I, I thought about everything. What am I going to do with my life? You know, I wanted to help my mom more, but I couldn't because, you know, I didn't have an education, I didn't have anything. So um, I had a friend that told me about Youth Build. Like, hey, you know, you go to Youth Build, you earn what you learn. And I was like, how is that possible? And then she told me, they have a construction site and you go to school. So I decided to check it out and I pretty much gave it a chance and I moved on from there. And so before I joined Youth Build, my life was a complete disaster. I was heading nowhere. Um, I had a few run-ins with the law already. You know, I was having a, expecting a kid on the way. I wanted something different. I wanted to change. I wanted to be a better person. Know, for this coming child of mine, and I decided to make phone calls. You know, I got myself enrolled in Youth Build and went from there. One day I met up with my aunt, and she asked me why I wasn't in high school, so I didn't really have an answer for her. And she told me I should try and see about going to Youth Build where she was attending, and went, got the information, and started going there and took the path to get there, and figured out how easy it was to join and how everyone there is just there to help you as much as you want to help yourself and it just it was crazy how simple things were once I, I wanted to motivate myself to do more how much other people were there to help me out and get me to where I wanted to be. The best advice I could give a youth build student is that any field that you're interested in um, a lot is going to be expected out of you. Stay motivated and Heed the advice that's given you by the people that are leading or just mentors, teachers. They're, they're only there to help you and want the best for you. It's going to be demanding. It's going to be hard working, long hours, whatever the case may be. But in that, you're going to get great pay. You're going to get benefits. You're going to get retirement. You're going to get a better life out of it. When they talk about hungry, I was starving. So I called them. I, I made sure that I was there, I was trying to get whatever information I can until they got tired of me. So they okay, okay, we're going to call you and you got the job. You know, the training that I received from Youth Build was great. It helped me in, in so many aspects. Work ethic, showing up on time, early, have your proper gear on, safety. You know, you can't show up with tight pants or, you know, showing cleavage or whatever. So you got to be appropriate. Making sure you meet all the people at the site, you know, get your name known, let people know your face, and show them what you're about. If you're there to work, then they'll see it. The on the job skills you learn there, that, that they help you too. It's like the, the little things that you may not think are important when you're doing it, but when you get there and people are on you to rush you, and you already have that muscle memory to get it done, that's what you rely on, and that's what it really, really, really counts. Yeah. Be professional. My name is Anthony Corrales and I'm a third period apprentice with the Carpenters Union out of Local 630. My name is Jonathan Torino. I am a seventh level apprentice with Bricklayers Allied Craft Workers, Local 4 out of California. My name is Joanna Hernandez. I'm a fifth period apprentice for the iron workers of Local 433. I currently work in Chino, California. I'm working in the city of Irvine. Currently working in the city of Montecito. I just got my first car and was recently married. You know, I have my own apartment. Got my two awesome kids. Just bought a car. I'm in the process of buying my new home. And I thank Youth Build, really. Uh, it was an awesome experience, great training. Just want to say thank you.